Veteran Wisconsin Republican member of Congress Jim Sensenbrenner became the 13th Republican today to announce he's not running for re-election. Sensenbrenner and his undiminished Wisconsin accent have been around for 21 terms. First elected in 1978, when dinosaurs roamed the land, the earth was still cooling, Tip O'Neill was speaker, and Jimmy Carter was president. The Sensenbrenner announcement came hours after Texas Republican Bill Flores announced his retirement. Flores is the fifth Republican from just the state of Texas to leave the House in what Democrats have dubbed a Republican Texodus. Get it? Back with us tonight, veteran political journalist and author Jonathan Allen, who happens to be our NBC News national political reporter. Jonathan, I am hoping you can tell us what's going on in the House of Representatives. <laughs> well, you're getting a flight here from uh, Republicans, and there are two basic reasons. For someone like Sensenbrenner, who's been around for a long time, he's safe in his district, probably best known for yelling at rookie reporters uh, that he doesn't do interviews in the Speaker's lobby, the area right outside the House chamber in that uh, thick Wisconsin accent that you mentioned would have fit in on uh, one of the Saturday Night Live. Live yeah, I was just, uh, just going to say my <laughs> greatest regret is that Chris Farley didn't live long enough to play Sensenbrenner in the movie. <laughs> A, that is a, uh, a great regret to have, uh, Brian. I, I would put it up there on mine as well. I'll, I'll steal it from you. Uh, so one of the reasons is if you're a safe Republican like Sensenbrenner, uh, you realize that the uh, Republicans are unlikely to win the House back. Uh, you're going to be in the minority again, and you're either going to be serving with a Democratic president or with, uh, with Trump again. And if you don't look at Trump the way that Mike Pence looks at Trump, uh, that might not be a, a good outcome for you. So that's one reason they're leaving. The other reason that they're leaving is uh, they think they're going to have trouble winning their own re-elections, and that's true for several of the uh, the House members from Texas, uh, Will Hurd being one of them, uh, uh, who just saw today the president took money from a military construction project in his district uh, at the uh, joint, uh, joint base in uh, San Antonio uh, to put it toward a border wall that the constituents in Will Hurd's district don't want along the Texas border. Uh, or even perhaps you might uh, see yourself uh, losing re-election in a primary Congresswoman Martha Roby, whose Alabama 2nd District would have mm -hmm. been in the path of Hurricane Dorian's Sharpie um, <laughs> uh, down in southeast Alabama. She decided earlier this year that she wasn't going to seek re-election, might have been vulnerable to a primary. She had difficulty with that in 2018. But either from a, a personal loss reason uh, that you might not return yourself or, or just looks like you're not going to have any power anytime soon. Uh, a lot of House Republicans are heading for the exits. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.